Welcome back to Live, Laugh, Love with Jen. They always say that life is a journey. Have you ever felt like you were lost on your journey or maybe like you've lost your way on your journey and you don't know the direction that you need to take? In this video, I put together my binder that will hopefully help me reclaim my self-esteem and get myself back on the right track. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I set up my binder. I'm calling it my wellness binder. Basically, my self-esteem is just depleted, and I need to get that back. So what I did first is I sat down and I made a list of everything that I would like to change or work on with regards to myself. So basic, when I sat down and I wrote the list, I did not think about how obtainable the goals might be, um, how hard they might be, nothing like that. I just sat down and I wrote a list of things that I wanted to improve upon in my personal life. And then I studied the list and I found that everything fit into one of three categories. The three categories that I chose were appearance, health, and self-care. I found that some fit into more than one category. I found um, that some just fit into a single category. Before I begin, I just want to tell you about the appearance component. For me, when I talk about appearance, I mean looking my personal best so that I feel more confident and I feel productive. That can look many ways for many different people. For example, when I was a teacher, I always felt like I had more productive days when I dressed up, had on makeup, everything matched, and I had on my heels. That is just how I feel my personal best. But I have a teacher friend who feels her personal best and feels like she has more productive days when she wears jeans and a t-shirt. So it's different for everybody. So the appearance component is not about becoming a supermodel or anything about like norms or that kind of thing. It's things that make me feel my best so that I'm productive. I felt like that was important to include because part of staying at home, part of working from home or staying at home, you have this flexibility that you could stay in your pajamas all day if you wanted to, if you did not have anywhere you had to go or you could put on yoga pants and a t-shirt. And that's great. And I was actually doing that for a while, but I found that I was not as productive. And I also found that it was very easy for me on days that I was not feeling 100%, even if I made up the bed, to climb back in bed because I was already in comfortable clothes, I didn't have makeup on. So that's just one of the things that I need to change. And, and um, also, when I put this binder together, I wanted to use pictures. And I wanted to use pictures. Um, I wanted to use pictures for my divider. And my husband saw them and he's like, why are there all these pictures of you? I don't really know all the rules and I did not want to worry about getting permission from people to put their pictures in here. So I basically have a bunch of pictures of myself, even though I'm working on my self-confidence. And most of it's like half of me because I had to cut a person or people out of the picture. I did leave Eric in a couple, but yes, no, I'm not like for vanity purposes. It's just for, I was going to share this on YouTube and I just wanted to make sure that all the pictures were of me because it's my channel. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up my binder. This used to be my home binder. So this is a home, like a list of things that I had to do weekly. But um, this is actually going to be a vision board, and I'm going to find things from each of the three categories, and I'm going to make like a little vision board to go right here. Then I put my list. Oh, if 
are my three categories. And I also put this in a page protector so that I can use a erase marker. I can mark off things I've done. I can circle things I'm working on. So that gives me the flexibility to do that. I can also go back in and add to this list, take away from this list, whatever I need to do. And then on the back of it was just my original list. And then there is my first category of appearance. Me with one side. <laughs> and I included a few quotes. Then I listed the things that I am wanting to work on. And then behind it, I put a page and basically this is the goal that I worked on this week. And the goal that I worked on this week was get up and get dressed, um, which basically meant that every day this week, soon after getting up, I was going to get dressed in something decent and put on makeup. And I actually planned that out. I spent time planning clothes for every day of the week, had those, the jewelry, accessories, anything I needed for that day on the hanger. So all I had to do was go in my closet, grab out that outfit for the day and put my makeup on. And because I did all the planning and work in advance, this was the easiest thing for me to reach this week. And I feel like because I have this in place, I feel like I can wrap this goal up this week because I think I can continue this next week because it was just so simple. It was a lot of work. Um, it was a lot of work before I started the week to get all the outfits laid out and that kind of thing, but it's been so nice this week just to have everything I need laid out and ready to go. So I feel really good about this particular goal. And then underneath, I'm going to use that as a place to write reflections. So, um, I can kind of reflect upon the week and how I felt like I did with that particular goal because I think reflecting on things that you're working on is just as important as working on them because that kind of gives you an idea of what's working, what's not working, what you need to change, that kind of thing. My second category was health. And again, I just kind of made a binder with me with, you know, half a person sometimes. And I just put a few quotes there. And then I wrote down all of the health things, all of the things that I'm working on with my health. And this, this kind of reminded me of a New Year's resolution. You know how you like decide, oh, January 1st, I'm gonna start working out. And you go join the gym, but you don't really know what you're gonna do. You don't have a plan. For the appearance when I had this like plan and I planned in advance. Well, I decided this week for my health that I was not going to eat any wheat because I have a gluten intolerance. I'm not supposed to eat wheat anyway, but I failed to really plan this one out. I did not go grocery shopping to find gluten-free foods beforehand. I did not do meal planning this week. So basically, I failed this one completely. I will say that writing it down there was a day that I stopped and I got, um, there was a day that I was out and I was busy and I stopped and I got a sandwich. And within two hours of eating that sandwich, I had a stomach ache, a migraine, and a panic attack. And I was like, just writing that down and seeing it, I have not wanted it. But I know that this is something that I'm going to need to carry over to next week and to do a lot of planning. And my last, my last little thing is self-care, which is self-care, mental health, that kind of thing into one. And this week, or here are my goals listed. And this week, I decided to work on forgiving and letting go. Can I say that this week has been an emotional roller coaster for me. It um, this piece was the hard, one of the hardest things that I have ever done. I had to forgive someone for something that happened like four and a half years ago, and why I held on to it for so long, I do not know. 
And I thought that I could resolve it by writing a letter, reading it, shredding it, and just forgiving and moving on. And I thought I had done that, and I sat down to film this video the first time, and I ended up talking about that. And when I watched it back, I was just overcome with emotion. I cried a lot during that video, and I saw so many insights into this grudge that I had been hanging on to and not letting go of. And I may put that at the end of this video. I haven't decided yet, but if I do leave it in, just be nice about it because I was very vulnerable at that time. And so I'm not really sure if I am going to include it or not include it. I think that I may at least include portions of it because if you are having trouble letting go of something, then it might help you to see me work through it and to figure out, like when I watched it back, to listen to myself talk about it. I had no idea the impact that this one experience had had on me. And so, anyway, so if I include it, feel free to watch it. You don't have to watch it. But today was just showing you guys how I've set up my binder. I'm sure that I will end up making some changes to it. And just to show you the things that I am working on this week. And I would love for you guys to um, pick something and work on it this week and plan it out and let me know how it's going. But hopefully we can build our binder slash maps together and we can be our best selves. We can get back on this journey of life. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And remember, take time to live, laugh, and love today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So first of all, I feel like I should probably tell you guys the reasoning behind the fact that I'm going on this journey. Um, a few years ago, I thought that there was nothing that I couldn't do. No mountain was too high for me to climb. And I was a confident, happy person. Someone hurt me. And I have always been such a resilient person. And I was always able to forgive. But for some reason, with this particular circumstance, I let bitterness grow in my heart for this person. As a result of that bitterness and it growing, I lost myself. Um, instead of just being able to forgive and forget and let it go, I lost who I was. In a few years time, I've lost my confidence. I've lost a lot of things and um, it's, so I realized when I wanted to start this journey that I was going to have to forgive this person because one thing that happened to me was that I would wake up in the mornings and my first thoughts were, you're worthless. My first thoughts were, you're worthless. You're a loser. Nobody likes you. Why you even bother getting out of bed? And I've never been one to have those thoughts before, and they were scary. And because I hurt so much, the things that this person said and did to me, I went through a point in time that my first, when it first happened, I went into a denial running stage. And I stayed away, I went on vacations as much as I could. And the second thing that happened is I started trying to get everyone that I cared about out of my life because I did not want to feel that kind of hurt or pain again. And I had a wonderful, loving, supporting group of family and friends that I had, that I felt like I had to protect myself by creating ways to make them go away.
And then the things that the person said to me became the thoughts that I had each and every day about myself. And the mind, you guys, is so powerful. So if you're waking up every morning thinking, I'm a loser, why well, get out of bed? I'm a waste of space. Everybody would just be happier if I were gone. If you wake up feeling that way, then your whole life just starts to change because you're just trying, you're just, I don't want to cry. I want my channel to be a, a positive place. I don't understand, and I'll probably never understand how someone gonna hurt you the way that this person hurt me, and how they can sleep at night, and I know that in their way they can justify what they did. But it's all these, but it's four years later, and I'm still crying every single day about it. And I'm angry with myself for letting this person have this much control of my life. I mean, this person would probably be happy to know that they have this much control. But basically what I ended up doing was letting people go and just letting everything go. All are trying to be a perfectionist at the same time, so that's really kind of a crazy thing to do. And um, I stopped doing things like, I stopped doing things like working out. I just stopped taking care of myself. Um, like I know that I should not eat wheat because it's bad for me. It makes me swell up, but yeah, I was, I think I said wheat. Yeah, I was eating it all the time. It was just like I was trying to do everything that I knew was bad for me. And then I look in the mirror now, or now when I look in the mirror, I don't know myself. I don't know myself anymore, and that's really scary. And it's kind of like I'm just stuck. And I'm a person who believes that the present is a gift, and the past should stay in the past. And um, I just keep going back and revisiting that past. Find forgiveness. I had to weed out the bitterness. I know it's impossible for me to talk with this person about it face to face. Um, I like closure. You know, like in stories, you have the conflict and you have the resolution and then you have the happy ending or, or whatever. In this situation, it was just the conflict and the ending, and that's how it's going to be. If you're holding on to something that happened to you in the past, we've all had things happen. If you're holding on to that, the faster you can forgive, the faster you can move on and start to heal. And I have had people, I've had way worse things happen than what happened with this one particular person and why this was the thing that I cannot forgive. I don't know. I had to revisit things, painful things from the past, things that I want to forget, things I want to pretend like never happened, happened. But sometimes I think in order for us to move on and to grow, we have to revisit and we have to find it in our hearts to forgive that person not because they deserve the forgiveness, but because you deserve the forgiveness. You deserve to be able to move forward. You do not need to have any kind of hatred or fear for a person growing in your life because it just continuously it just takes over. It just starts to take over everything.
I'm on this mission to get back my self-esteem, to find my part, to get back my self-esteem, to feel like I am worthy to get up every day and to feel like I am worthy to be loved and to be liked. And also to get my, and also to get myself back in shape and all of those things. This person harmed me and maybe it took a while, but I'm taking this and I'm turning it around for the good. And hopefully I'm going to help some other people along the way, no matter where you got, no matter where you are, what you need to improve on. We're all different. We all need to improve on different things. But if you've ever woken up and looked in the mirror and been like, who is this person looking back at me? then you know where I'm coming from. And if this person would not have done, if this person would not have done what they did to me, I would not be sitting here right now. I would not be on this journey. So this could be the reason. So um, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. And remember to let go of hate, let go of anger toward another person. You do not have to go physically talk to them to release it and just let it go. So that way you're free, you're clear of it, you can leave the past in the past and enjoy the gift that is today. And remember, take time to live, laugh, and love today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.